YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans. Hey, the new B&M stuff side. We walked in the other day, just kind of looking for random stuff, and, and we ended up finding that B&M had put all this stuff out that actually set up an entire shelf. Yeah, which is the first time in years that we've seen a shelf dedicated to Doctor Who. I didn't buy all of it. What I want to take a look at specifically is uh, the Fifth Doctor and TARDIS. And I also bought a 10th Doctor Sonic screwdriver again Why as do you well. do this yourself? This isn't going to be a normal sort of review where like it's it's all the white background. I mean there's some of the white background like this. <laughs> see what I mean? But uh, let's see. Semi-permanent white background. Uh, I just I wanted to have more of a discussion. Taking a look at the packaging for the 5th Doctor and TARDIS set. It's the same that we saw with the 4th Doctor released last it's exactly year. It's got the same kind of layout and everything. This is from Caves of Androzani. So yes. this is kind of like the mud, sort of sandy planet. Yes, this is the, the planet where the Doctor lands and then gets killed by slime. Good. There's a little bit of blurb and stuff on the back as well and that'll be on your screen right now and you can pause the video if you want to read any of it. Nice big open display window, shows it off really well. Uh, the only th other difference I, I see with this is it got a wee gold badge at the front. It does! I'm not too sure why that, that it didn't happen with the fourth. It says limited edition on it. Ah, uh, <laughs> lies. <laughs> Filthy lies. We'll move on, take a look at the police box first. Identical. Identical to the last one that came out, the, the fourth one. Like, the roof is different. That's really only the differences with the, the, the fourth to the fifth uh, TARDIS, because in the TV show, the only difference was the top. Yeah. Like a little bit of like I think maybe the the police public call box bit in the middle. Yeah, the signage is a little bit but different. Um, the the signage across the top as well is different too. Yeah. But aside from that, basically the same mold. Oh, it's the same mold. It's the exact it's same, the same thing. Mold. And and the only downside to that is it's based off the electronic ones. It has no electronics inside it. it so has again, that bloody thing in the back. Jesus. <laughs> Did you? Pick? So again, we get the speaker hole. We get the battery compartment. But there's there's nothing there. Yeah. Really, at this point, the only thing to separate it from the rest of them is they've put the kind of muddy decals. In the episode itself, uh, the TARDIS has been sitting up there with, like, like there's like a waste storms and stuff, so like it does have that at the end yeah, of the Yeah, it gets very episode. weathered and, and yeah. stuff in it. I mean, it's not something to scream about. Like, it, if it, it's, it's okay, like, I mean, if you stick it on a shelf and stuff and you never got a Fifth Doctor's TARDIS before, it's all it's okay. I mean, like the the windows are a different color as well. They're kind of a yellowed color now. Aside from that, they've still got the same kind of paneling design. Like the two lower panels yeah. have the kind of etching in them, uh, and that's really about it. I mean, then there's just a ton of legal Shergan Boygan flag and Kamba hanging on the bottom. But as per usual, as per usual, yeah. The door is open. Doors same open same as always. Same as it usually does. They both open up. No back card, no anything like that inside it, and just that big box where the batteries and uh, gubbins and bits to make it work would usually go. Uh, you can have one door open, that locks into place, and then the second door is closed with a little panel on the floor. And that's that's kind of it. It's still got that waxy feel to it that a lot of B&M... Well, that's the same, it's cheap plastic. It's basically, um, like, that's get this out as quick as possible, change maybe the mould which they have, they've changed the top part of it. And as you say, the writing, which is true, that's a, that's exactly what it was in, in the episode. We still have the figure to talk about, which yeah. is essentially your basic fifth Doctor figure. It feels very sturdy, it doesn't feel cheap or anything in any way like that. No. It just, it just looks like your basic re-release. The face looks okay. I mean, I can definitely see Peter Davidson in there. Yeah, I can see Peter Davidson, but it annoys me, though, that this is his final time and when it was his final time he had longer hair yeah so I would rather have it like this is basically I'd say this is like his very first time he appears like mm. I will say one thing there is a difference with the the cricket jumper it actually is authentic to the episode well, that's a because plus. with the fifth doctor when it when he first appeared he didn't have the line at the bottom mm. it was just a full cricket jumper like cream cricket jumper you had this part the small changes in the in the fifth doctor when it when at his role uh, at the start it he didn't have like the he had the red inline of the shirt but he mm. didn't have the green part of it and they've actually went out of the way to paint that to which, is, which so is really nice it's yeah. nice and i also like the fact that they did get rid of the salary because he does eat it yeah in order in to try and the, stay the stop, alive, the, yeah. to stop the poison and to have the murky part of it as well but as i said before is if you are collecting all the variants of the fifth doctor and you wanted to pick this up yeah with the tenth doctor screwdriver 
Now I've reviewed enough of these to know by now. I've bought enough you of these. You are an expert, sir. To know by now. Uh, the packaging pretty much identical to the last couple of lines of uh, Sonic Screwdriver re-releases. Uh, but now it follows that kind of white and blue packaging design that we're seeing on the, the bigger boxes. Uh, and on the back you can see there's three that have been re-released now. The War Doctor Sonic, the 11th Doctor Sonic that doesn't flick open, and of course the 10th Doctor Sonic. It is your stereotypical 10th Doctor Sonic screwdriver toy. There's not really that much different about it. Lovely nice clear blue emitter at the top. There's you know a couple of joints here and there but nothing overly terrible. You yeah. can see the little speaker holes in the top as well. The crackle design is nice and thick as, as well too. The only things I can see on this one that are radically different is the end cap here. Mm. This is one solid piece. There is one thing, and I think there was a, a re-release beforehand that did this, but this is the first time I've seen it, is the slider is different. So if you remember before with the original one, you could pop this off and then there was a little screw. Did you, you it. lose it? Because every yes. time I bought one, yeah, that's the, little the thing first that thing on. to go missing. Yeah. God damn it, why? Because obviously you have to remove that in order to change the batteries and stuff. Like the helix and stuff looks great. The color of it looks nice. They've redesigned this slider to put the screw in it. And they've concealed the screw as the button to activate it. Because the button's on the slider, if you look at the uh, the proper applicant, yeah. you can see there's a little button there. And it's supposed to create this kind of Doppler effect, mm. where it kind of gets louder the more you slide it up. On the toy, the slider goes up and down, and then there's a button at the bottom, a button at the top. So the screwdriver can only be activated whenever it's fully down or fully up. And that's where my sonic modifications came in, where I was like, no, I want it to be more like the prop itself. And then eventually I just went, screw it, I'll save up and get the prop. So what the good thing about this one is, yeah, it's still the same thing. That's not a button. No. It's just disguised to look like it. So, uh, come on. But on top of that, you can activate it when it's fully closed, when it's fully up, or you can activate it halfway down. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good, so it is. It's clear it's the same problem as this. It's cheaper plastic. Yeah. So it's not as rigid, it's more flexible. So you can press it no matter where it is, which, which is nice. It is good. That's I think that's a happy accident. I don't yeah. think it was a, it was intentionally designed like that. It's just basically if you put pry enough pressure to it, you can do it. Yeah, like there's there's not like I don't, I know the fact is like yes you're the expert of doing these you've you've reviewed so many over the years but like there's not really much. What you can, can I say? I don't have yeah. a life. <laughs> but like there's not much you can do with the with the screwdriver. The one thing that's different with it is, if I'm correct, the sound effect. That's not the first time we've seen those sound effects included with a tenth Doctor Sonic screwdriver. Mm -hmm. The original sound effects were. Those yeah, they're two. the original too. I remember them. Um, and there was no hidden signs or anything like that, but there's two more that have been added in the sequence. And that came from the 11th Doctor one, correct? No, these come from the classic Sonic. That's right, because I'm thinking of the 11th Doctor, like, if you hit the button, does this weird... It goes... Yeah, um, but with this one here, like you don't double press or anything like that, it's literally just... I hate that. No, you want the, the hidden. Uh, you just want the... And then maybe have the other two as hidden signs, which yeah. would be great. I would have loved if they done the bottom, where if you twisted that, it would change it to the other shadows. Nice bright LED, in all fairness. Yeah, it is really Really, good. really lovely and bright. I think that's the brightest, and I could be wrong, but that's the brightest one I've, I've seen. I'll tell you now, if they released this as the first Sonic release back in 2005, I think I'd be happy with it. It, it would have it, saved me a ton of money anyway, <laughs> the amount of screwdrivers I bought. Yeah, but it, it, it ticks all the boxes. Oh cause Jesus, that is loose. You see that? Look at the given that. So we know that if uh, over time, if you're going up and down, that you're actually wearing the, the little the screw, knob. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I, do you know what? I think that's just a problem with character options. They can never get this right. This no. this is their Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> this is the, the Illuminati. This is the thing that won't stop. The only thing that caught your eye was the Fifth Doctor one. And then I mean, it took you a couple of, like a good, like, half an hour before you decided to get this. Because you exactly, were looking at going, yeah. 
like the first time you said this was oh they've remolded this yeah. oh they're actually locked up but when you actually took it out and locked out it was like well not much really changed. there's not much different yet although i do like it i really do like that there's a harry sullivan figure as well that's brand new like they've never but then never mind the stuff but that's in it i don't know i feel really off and really weird whenever i buy figures like these mm. because i'm going i'm going like yeah it's it's a figure i don't have but at the same time, I kind of do because it's taken parts from other figures that I already it's do kinda own. It's kind of like your modification madness. That's what it... Bastard character! It's, that's exactly... They've taken modification madness and they're making money out of it now. Yeah. That's what... Oh, D-War, son of a bitch! <laughs> that's what you've done! Yeah. He's looked at my modification madness videos and went, Oh, well, if I take this figure's torso and this figure's legs and put them together, I can create some sort of music. <laughs> That's exactly what Sons it is. Sons of bitches. Yeah. That's what they're doing. Is, is there, have you any shame, character? Of course not. God damn you. <laughs> <laughs> character options. I just, I hate it. I hate it. I hate that this is where one of my favourite shows has reached. I hate that. Look at Toys R Us before, like, before it unfortunately closed. When we went there, there used to be an aisle. And then when we came to the, you know, almost the end of it, there was nothing. Like, yeah. any, I go to Smith's, you go to Smith's now, there is no Doctor Who. There's no Doctor Who it's twice not, at all. I, it's got that bad that I've went up to a manager and said, here, is there any Doctor Who stuff? What's that? Yeah. That, literally, what's that? Like, yeah. that, that's, that's, that tells you that, the fr I don't like saying the franchise is dead, because then you get people going, it's not dead, look at it, look, look. I, I don't go by the views of, of or the critics or anything of the TV no, shows. No, it's merchandising. It's the merchandise. Yeah. I mean, re realistically, the last stage in characters game of making these. And uh, to be honest with you, this is defunct now. Mm. Because now we have the third dildo. But like, <laughs> oh, like yeah, yeah. this hasn't been on screen since 2013. Oh, what a But it hasn't been though, that's, yeah, that's yeah, the problem. I mean, it feels so done because it's a, it, it's it's out of date. It's a bad job. Yeah, it's a job that should have been done at the very beginning, not Re at the very end. Of realistically, it. the final stage in the game now is put a button there. Which put, the put, put a button on the slider, the and that's it. How game many over. years has this been out? Or how many years this? This been? first came out in two thousand and five. Right, and, summer that, and they still haven't fucked about with the button. Okay, that's that's be real. There is people going to be out there going. You're wrong. I like this. Great. Have a biscuit. Yeah, but fantastic. That's fine. We're not saying we're, don't go. Do we're not going out to you and saying don't do, buy this Do you know stuff. what it is? We're just sick of going onto YouTube and seeing so many reviews of these and people are going, fucking class. Yeah. When they're not, there are things that can be picked apart about them. Not only that, there. Can you imagine watching those channels? All right, and, and it's a fan base. Yeah. Fan bases are wanting your opinion. If they are loyal to you and they listen to your opinion, then they go out and buy that, and you buy this, and you squeeze it and break it. Yeah. You're lying to your fans. You are. You're lying to, to people who are spending their hard-earned money yeah. to get and I mean, candle wax. It's not like we're sitting here going, don't buy this, if you buy this, you're an idiot. No. We're just giving our genuine thoughts on it. Whenever I heard that there was new B&M stuff coming out to do with Dr. Hay, I just felt nothing. I just kind of felt like, meh. You know what I mean? It, it, it wasn't a, oh my god, class! I was, it was a... <sighs> if you think about it, they're sitting going, oh, we have to do like moulds and all that crap. Well, we have loads of parts that we but can mix together. doesn't it just feel like it's stalled? Did I, I said to you before when we done the like, toy reviews of these here, it stalled long ago. As I said, they jumped on the hype train, didn't know what the fuck they did, and went, oh, that's going nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. Yeah. And they went, shit. We have this. Maybe they'll like it. Oh no, there's no Doctor Who one. What do we do? We wait. Then they'll wait. People get bored. People get angry. Then it comes out. The, 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 the whole, no one will buy them. Most will buy, but most won't. And then there'll be people going, they'll, they'll panic and go, Hey, your YouTube channel is a yes man, yes. Uh, would you like these for free? Say all this shit and then and tell people's class. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and go, this is amazing. It's eh, and where the hell's the new stuff? Yeah, we need it. Don't Where's the new stuff? The entire series, a new series has been done and dusted. Yeah. That was, what, a year ago? And do you know what? Do you know what that tells me? They're admitting that Series 11 was, was shit. 
Oh, yeah. It's not worth making no. figures from it. Whatever, we can go back in time and make these figures. Do you remember the fifth Doctor? Remember? Do you remember? I remember. Yeah. yeah, it's that. And it just it tells me everything I need to know. As you were saying, you want to watch the maturity of a franchise, you watch its merchandising. And if there's not new stuff coming yeah. out, if it's relying on the past, yeah. then you're in trouble. I think Al D. War is a good guy. I do, because he's the, the head of character toys or whatever. That, whatever he is, he's the face. He's what everyone tweets at and goes to and whatever. And he's the one that released all these. Uh, released the first like video of him looking at them and stuff. I did a review of the 12th Doctor police box. Hmm. The toy that came out of the flight control. And I put a message on Twitter and I just said, Genuinely, this is great. And he replied saying, that actually means a lot. Or something to that equivalent. So I genuinely think he's a good guy. He's working hard. I think there's a lot of restrictions when it comes to trying to make new Doctor Who stuff. It's, but no, at, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the excuse is, what the, the issue is or whatever. You're releasing things that are just... You, yeah. you have said this before and we've, we've said this on this channel plenty of times. If you don't shout out, if you don't shout, give your voice out there and give your opinion out there to the right people, nothing will change. Yeah, well, it's, it's, the old, it's the old saying. Yeah. Money talks, bullshit walks. Yeah. They're not listening to the fans because a, fan, a lot of the fans aren't rising up holy hell on these. Yeah. If all of the Doctor Who fans, if the entire Doctor Who fan base all went, I'm not buying this. I want better. But see, that's the thing. We're, I'm not seeing that reaction at all. And in fact, what I see is whenever, say, like when this video goes up, and you and me are sitting talking about all this stuff, when this goes up, do you know where the anger and hatred and rage goes to? It comes to our door. Yeah. It doesn't come to anyone else's door, because there, there's, like, people nowadays seem to be so ready and willing to accept basic. Yeah, it seems that... And it was never that way before. Like, whenever I first started, mm. I was always like, this is great, but I wish it was like this. Six months down the line, a year down the line, you get something that was like that. Yeah. Look at the quality of the Doctor Who figures. When they first came out, the Chris Rackleson series, they couldn't move their lower legs. And Rose is just a... Ro Rose was like posed yeah. mid-dance or something, like a weird dance. But people said, this is good, but I wish they'd had more articulation. Boom, more articulation. These are nice, I wish they had more detail. Boom, by the time we got to series four of Doctor Who, the detail was amazing. Mm -hmm. For six inch figures. 5.5 inch if you want to get technical, but 6 inch figures. Amazing detail. Uh, same with series 5 and series 6, but after that, it has just plummeted. I mean, Realistically ultimately, did. this has been a weird one for me, but just, eh. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah, pretty much. And I mean, whenever that gets a reaction like that out of me, it's, it's not a, this is so cool, oh my god! It's not a, this is horrible, burn it, kill it, skin it. Whenever it doesn't get that reaction out of me, whenever it doesn't get the reaction out of me where I want to break it or do a stupid little sketch or set throw it, it down a toilet or set it on fire, whenever it, it leaves me just going, eh, be afraid. Be very afraid. But really though, because I'm one of the most opinionated dickheads on this website. Yeah. And whenever I, all I can muster up is... Mm. Yeah, that's terrifying. We're living in the bad universe. Where's the ice cream universe? This is the bad time. Where's the rainbows? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, thanks very much for uh, watching us waffle and iron on about stuff and also things. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, some of my favorites include attacking me over the deaths of my parents, uh, my weight, uh, the fact that I'm Irish. That's yeah, pretty good yeah, one too. Good one. Uh, I also sound like I'm drunk a lot, so that's a good one as well. Um, and anything else really that's offensive or... Oh, cr whiny cry... Uh, uh, man babies. Man babies. Man babies. That's it. That's it. Man uh, child. Sexist. Oh, that's always a thing. Sexist. That's, that's uh, we still live with our parents. Uh, basement, basement dwelling. Basement yeah, dwellers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't have a job. But that's people getting so angry and not listening. As they do. They listen to yeah. the first couple of little moments. Yeah. And they go... And, then, yeah. and you're like... Right, okay. Anyway, yeah. Uh, unsubscribe button's there. Bye.
bye, bye, bye.